Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, we love hearing from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our true skin health products, ingredients, formulations, the longevity products, the longevity business, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to sign up to join the bright side, Ben team, start a longevity business. If you're an entrepreneur or entrepreneurially minded, if you want to work out of your home, make your own hours, make as much or as little money as you like, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, click on the join the team link at brightsideben.com pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. If you like the idea of being a health professional, if you like the idea of helping people at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health, if you have benefited from nutritional supplementation, if it's changed your life, and so many folks have changed their lives by getting on a good nutritional supplement program, by using the Longevity products, I'm going to be going to the convention next week, the annual convention. If you're in the San Diego area, if you're a longevity distributor, I really encourage you to attend. It's super inspiring. You get to see all kinds of folks who've lost 100 pounds, 150 pounds, 80 pounds, gotten off all their meds, avoided surgeries, gotten up out of wheelchairs, feel better just by using the longevity products. If that sounds like a good idea to you and you're an entrepreneur and you want to start your own business, please click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for a one-time $25 fee. You can be a longevity distributor, even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price. Click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. You can also purchase Longevity products by calling 866-735-2470 or by heading to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. On our last program, we were talking, actually we've been talking for a couple weeks now about short chain fats as opposed to long chain fats and medium chain fats. On our last program, we were talking about skin health and the relationship between these short fats and skin health. As it turns out, these short fats, as opposed to the medium fats and the long fats, are not only acidic, technically they're called short-chain fatty acids, they're acidic, they have an acidic nature. They're not only acidic, though, they also have a certain degree of water solubility. As you know, there's water-soluble materials and there's fat-soluble materials. Well, what makes these short-chain fats so fascinating is they're not just water, they're not just fat soluble, they're also water soluble. They're fats that dissolve in water. That is really cool. Usually you don't have molecules that do this. Usually molecules will be one or the other, but fatty, short chain fatty acids are both. They're fats that dissolve in water. They're technically fats, but they look watery. Apple cider vinegar is a classic example of a solution of short chain fatty acids. It looks just like water, but you can use it to clean oil. My housekeeper uses apple cider vinegar to clean the counters. I'll come in once a week, and uh, I know she's been here because my house will smell like vinegar. Vinegar can clean fat. It can dissolve oil. It can dissolve grease, but it's watery. Why? Because it's both fatty 
and watery. It's a short chain fat. At least vinegar is a solution of a short chain fat. It's amphiphilic. The short chain fat is amphiphilic. It's both. And the fact that these uh, fats are watery, or if you prefer these water, these watery materials are fatty. They're either watery fats or fatty waters. Either way, you, you look at it either way. It gives us uh, this by by nature, this binary nature, this amphiphilic nature gives it some unique properties. It can travel through cells very effectively. It can be used very readily for energy. And on the skin, it's got some amazing properties. The watery nature of these fats, these short chain fats, makes them very, very skin friendly. On the skin, they have a, an ability to dissolve things. They have an ability to dissolve the glue that holds dead skin cells in place on the stratum corneum. Stratum corneum is the hard layer on the surface of the skin. It's made up of dead skin cells that are held together with a biological glue. And this biological glue is very sturdy stuff. It keeps those cells, those dead cells, sticking to the surface. In fact, if you have uh, too much of this biological glue or the biological glue is too tough, you'll see dead cells piling up on the surface. People say their skin looks ashy. That ashiness is a, a, a reflection or the result of dead skin cells that are not flopping off as they should. You can use watery fats to help dissolve that glue. The watery fats have a dissolution property, a dissolving property. And this dissolving property results in cells being stripped off of the surface of the skin more readily than they ordinarily would. Ordinarily, skin cells flop off of the skin. Lots of skin cells flop off the skin. Every second of the day, skin cells are flopping off of your skin. In fact, the dust that's in the air in your house is about 80% dead skin cells. Or some large percent, maybe 70% dead skin cells. Dead skin cells are flying all over the place. Everywhere, if you had the, the, the right detection mechanisms, wherever you look, you see dead skin cells flying off of everybody's skin. This is a process called desquamation. The, the uh, process of, st of cells flopping off the skin is called desquamation. When desquamation is accelerated intentionally, we call that exfoliation. Exfoliation is the intentional, conscious, volitional, treatment of the skin that results in desquamation. Exfoliation is like a synthetic ex a desquamation, and it's a powerful tool for anti-aging the skin. Exfoliation is your most powerful, uh, next, to, next to nutrition or along with nutrition, exfoliation is the most powerful anti-aging tool we have. Exfoliation results in a more robust stratum corneum, that is the hard layer on the surface of the skin. A stratum corneum that is more, uh, more able to ward off assaults and prevent, uh, assaults and prevent water loss. Exfoliation results in a thicker epidermis, which gives the skin a healthier appearance. And most importantly, exfoliation helps build the lower levels of the skin. That's the dermis. That is the connective tissue. Exfoliation builds connective tissue. Exfoliation is like exercise. Exercise with weights or running or doing some sort of physical strenuous exercise helps uh, result in stronger connective tissue. If you want to have, build strong connective tissue in your joints, Exercise. If you want to build strong connective tissue inside your body, to get a workout. Likewise, on the skin, exfoliation is like a, is the skin's version of exercise, and it results not just in a thicker epidermis and a more robust stratum corneum, but it results in more connective tissue, stronger connective tissue. The connective tissue is what we call collagen mostly, but it's also made up of other factors around the collagen. If you listen to this program before, you know that building connective tissue is the very essence of anti-aging. Or to put it another way, connective deterioration, connective tissue deterioration, is the very essence of aging. It's all about the connective tissue. This is why I came out with my collagen recovery complex supplement. Collagen recovery, my collagen recovery supplement, which you can get at truthtreatments.com, is about supplements, nutrients that help build connective tissue. And when you build connective tissue, you anti-age the entire body. You anti-age the bones, you anti-age the joints, you anti-age the vascular system, and you anti-age the skin. Weak bones, weak arteries, weak circulatory vessels, arthritis, joint and tendon issues, which are part and parcel of the aging process, are nothing more than the signs of connective tissue deterioration, connective tissue breakdown. It's all about the connective tissue. All right, at Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. On 
Celebrate Sign at Pharmacist Pan, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or if you have a success story or if you'd like to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also head to... Or you can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. If you'd like to check out our Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Take a specially long look at our collagen recovery complex made with eggshell membrane and hyaluronic acid and zinc and vitamin C, glucosamine, lots of great nutrients in our collagen recovery complex. If you're post-surgery or if you're pre-surgery, you can accelerate the healing process by getting on our collagen recovery complex. If you're dealing with gum disease or wrinkles or atherosclerosis, all of these are connective tissue and collagen issues. Get on our collagen recovery complex, take two or three a day and watch what happens. You'll first thing you'll notice is that you're healing really fast. All right. Eight, four, four, two, three, six, 60, 10 is our number. We're talking about uh, short chain fats, specifically how the short chain fats work on the skin, the short chain fats, used on the surface of the skin, on a cotton pad or in a cleanser, help dissolve the glue that holds dead skin cells in place on the surface. This in turn stimulates the production of not just a thicker, stronger, more robust stratum corneum, but also a healthier epidermis and most importantly, more collagen and more connective tissue. Connective tissue deterioration is the very essence of and uh, of uh, aging on the skin. Connective tissue building is the very essence of anti-aging on the skin. Wrinkles, fine lines, crepey skin, all the, all the signs of aging on the skin that we hate so much are really connective tissue breakdown issues. We spend billions of dollars on all kinds of topical products every year. And charlatan, fake fraud, skincare companies and celebrities and marketers scam us into buying their potions and lotions and devices and surgical, we have surgical procedures done to fix and repair our connect, our wrinkles and our fine lines without, without helping our connective tissue. If you're using a skincare product that's a wrinkle cream and it doesn't have vitamin C and vitamin A in it or, or short chain fats in the form of alpha hydroxy acids in it, you're not building connective tissue. And rubbing your skincare product on the surface of your skin without building connective tissue is a waste of time if you're interested in anti-aging your skin. All the signs of aging skin that we hate so much are the end result, like osteoporosis, like atherosclerosis, like heart disease, like arthritis. They are the end result of connective tissue deterioration. Wrinkles are arthritis of the skin. Fine lines are atherosclerosis of the skin. Turkey neck is osteoporosis of the skin. If it's happening on the outside, if it's happening on the skin, it's happening on the inside. This is so important. If it's happening on the outside, it's happening on the inside. If it's happening on the inside, it's happening on the outside. They're not separate. The skin is not separate from the inside of the body. If you have lots of wrinkles and lots of fine lines, you are running higher risks for atherosclerosis, which means you're running higher risks for uh, cholesterol deposits and plaques, which means you're running higher risk for osteoporosis, which means you're running higher risk for, for uh, arthritis and joint disease, which means you're running higher risk for connective tissue disease everywhere, connective tissue deterioration everywhere. Instead of using some movie star recommended cream that comes from a melon extract, that was discovered by some knucklehead doctor from France. We would be wise to start building the connective tissue with nutrition, with bone broth protein, with vitamin C, with cartilage, with vitamin D and calcium and zinc and hyaluronic acid and silica on the inside and also vitamin C and vitamin A on the outside. And this is the great gift of the skin. Because the skin is an organ on the outside of the body, it can be used as a diagnostic tool. We don't want to shut the skin up. We want to listen to the skin. The skin is talking to us. By understanding how to speak skin, by understanding the language of the skin, we can save ourselves from heart attacks. By understanding the language of the skin, we can save ourselves from deterioration of the bones. By understanding the language of the skin, we can accelerate our lives. We can, or, or we can uh, uh, enhance our lives. We can have a longer lifespan if we speak the language of the skin, if we listen to the skin, we can increase our lifespan and reduce our risks of degenerative diseases. All we got to do is listen. 
The skin is no mere canvas for adornment. It's no mere superficial covering. It's a portal to the inside of our body whose information can save our lives. And that's not just true, by the way, of aging skin. It's true about eczema. It's true about psoriasis. It's true about acne. The skin is a, a, the, the uh, a language of the skin, the appearance of the skin. What's happening on the skin is this wonderful tool that we have at our disposal that will save us from diseases, horrible diseases. And rather than just smoothing, a, putting a cream on to smooth the surface of the skin, we should be listening to what's happening. And this is why skin connective tissue is not just about beauty and appearance, but a health issue. Our skin's connective tissue, our wrinkles, our fine lines, our thinning, our thinning skin, our turkey necks, it's not only a beauty issue, it's a health issue. And driving collagen production in the skin allows the skin to perform its job more efficiently. And when we perform, when we build collagen on the skin, not only will our skin be performing its job more efficiently, but if we do it correctly with nutrition, we will be also building our bones and our blood vessels and all the connective tissue inside the body. The connective tissue also holds all our organs in place, prolapses and ruptures and hernias. These are all examples of connective tissue deterioration. Building connective tissue in the skin also helps us build moisture factors in the skin. It also helps us grow new, uh, new cells more efficiently in the skin. And this is why working at the dermis level to drive the production of connective tissue is the single most, probably the only, really, health and beauty strategy you never need to use for, for your skin. Focus on the connective tissue. And by the way, this is why taking care of your skin is not only a beauty issue, but it's also a health issue. Thicker skin is healthier not just more beautiful. You know, we give lip service to the idea that the skin is the body's largest organ. Everybody knows that. The skin is the body's largest organ. We hear that all the time. But we miss the main point, not the largeness of it. The main point of saying the skin is the body's largest organ doesn't have to do with the size of the skin or the size of the organ. It has to do with the fact that it's an organ. And building the connective tissue, getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines is, is about changing the health of the organ. It's about having healthier organs. It's about having healthier tissue. It's about having a healthier body. I speak to people all the time and they'll tell me, oh, I don't take care of my skin. I just use soap. I don't even use soap. I don't do anything for my skin. As if treating your skin is some kind of uh, vanity co uh, concern. It's just about being vain. Oh, I don't, I'm not vain. I don't take care of my skin. Well, guess what? That's like saying I don't take, take care of my heart or take care of my liver or take care of my bones. If you understand that the skin is an organ, and by the way, it's not just wrinkles and thinning skin that are, are, are the result of uh, these kinds of defects. The connective tissue in the skin is made up, like all connective tissue, of cells and stuff around the cells. The stuff around the cells is called the matrix, the extracellular matrix. And this extracellular matrix, which is part of the connective tissue, feeds all the cells. It nourishes all the cells. That means you're not just going to get, when you take care of your connective tissue, you're not just going to have better connective tissue. All your cells are going to be better. Your liver cells will be better. Your heart cells will be better. All your skin cells will be better because the connective tissue feeds, electrifies, detoxifies, and oxygenates all the cells. Are you guys getting, getting the idea that building the connective tissue is really, really important? Internally, you build the connective tissue with nutrition. Topically, you build the connective tissue with nutrition, as well as stimulating, accelerating exfoliation. As a small business... are back on the bright side. Got lines open. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here momentarily. If you've got questions about skin, skin health issues, connective tissue, connective tissue issues or connective tissue questions or our true skin health products or longevity products or a success story you'd like to share with us. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on. We'll get you here in uh, just a moment from the New England Journal of Medicine. Cardiovascular disease related to type 2 diabetes can be reduced significantly. This is the New England Journal of Medicine talking about this, folks. Properly composed treatment and refraining from cigarette consumption can, 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 can significantly reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease resulting from type 2 diabetes, according to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. In some cases, the increased risks could theoretically be eliminated. 
Quote, this is definitely good news. The study shows that patients with type 2 diabetes with all risk factors within therapeutic target range had an extremely low risk of premature death, heart attack, and strokes at Aiden Roshani, a medical intern and doctoral student at the Institute of Medicine at uh, Salgrenska Academy in Sweden and author of the article. What this means is you could take control of your health, folks. We've been talking about this for ever. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in this country. Hundreds of thousands of people, over a million people are affected every year by cardiovascular disease. And most of it is related to type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is, make no mistake about it, an eating disorder. It's an eating disease. I don't know how, how much clearer I can be here. Type 2 diabetes is an eating disease. It is not, has nothing to do with a doctor. It has nothing to do with drugs. And I know every half hour, every 30 minutes on network television, you'll see, or on television, you'll see an ad for some type 2 diabetes drugs. It is not a pharmaceutical concern. It is not a medical concern. It is simply about how we eat. You don't have diabetes unless you're eating the wrong way. Period. End of story. It's about blood sugar. The only reason our blood sugar goes up is because of how we eat. There's also stress hormone that's involved, but that too is connected largely to how we eat. Look at how we eat. Of course, we're going to have an epidemic of type 2 diabetes and, and then uh, in turn an epidemic of cardiovascular disease. This is heartbreaking. This is so tragic because we can control this so much by ourselves, even according to the New England Journal of Medicine, no fan of alternative health practices, of course. Even the medical model ag agrees that type 2 diabetes and the subsequent cardiovascular health issues that ensue are largely in our control by lifestyle. They blame smoking. I blame food. Smoking, they say smoking is the most important risk factor for premature death. Well, guess what? Smoking is the second most important risk factor. Food is the most important risk factor. And, of course, lack of nutrition help, uh, helps or contributes, I should say. Chromium, vanadium, your sweeties, your ultimate niacin, your ultimate selenium, fucoid Z, ultimate EFAs, healthy start pack, beyond tangy tangerine, osteo-FX. These are all incredibly important nutrients, uh, incredibly important supplements for helping the body stave off blood sugar issues and type 2 diabetes. Laying off the sugar, of course, is job number one. If you have a hard time laying off the sugar, use more protein. Use an amino acid called glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E, which we've talked about in the past. Put a half a teaspoonful of glutamine in water. Drink it every morning. Apple cider vinegar can also help dramatically sometimes help lower blood sugar. There's all kinds of ways, all kinds of strategies that we can use to reduce our risks of type 2 diabetes and, and subsequent risks of cardiovascular disease. And I've never had... I can only imagine, I've never had, I don't have personal experience, but I can only imagine what it must feel like to have a heart attack. You don't want one. All right. From uh, the Daily Mail, is beer good for you? A recent Daily Mail article announced that beer is officially good for you. It improves heart risk and improves brain health. But why is the question? Well, guess what? Beer is loaded with polyphenols. We've talked about polyphenols in the past. Polyphenols are found in all kinds of natural foods, mostly vegetables. Beer is, comes from grain, of course, so it's going to be a source of polyphenols. But beer is also a rich source of silica. Silica is one, one of the great underappreciated nutrients in the entire nutritional spectrum. You don't hear much about silica, but it's very important for helping the body build connective tissue. Silica uh, can also help you make, help make your nails strong. It can keep wrinkles at bay. It can help your hair grow. Silica is awesome, awesome stuff. Best source of silica is going to be vegetables. Horsetail is an herb that contains silica. Bamboo has silica in it. And beer is also a great source of silica. That's why they make beer shampoo. The silica in the beer is supposed to help your hair. Now, I don't know if it's going to help you if you put it on your head, but uh, it certainly will help you if you put it inside your body, and drinking beer can get you a bunch of silica, even if you have to deal with the alcohol. I'm not a big fan of beer. I don't really like the taste, but if you are drinking beer, just know that you're probably going to get some health benefits, as long as you're not over-drinking the beer, that is. Beer also has, is a source of uh, magnesium. It's a source of phosphorus, source of potassium, source of sodium. All right. One more, and we'll get your calls, 844-236-6010. From the journal Nutrition Frontiers, eating broccoli sprouts may reduce a child's chances of breast cancer later in life. That is, if pregnant women 
eat broccoli sprouts. Researchers at the University of Alabama and Birmingham have found that a plant-based diet is more effective in preventing breast cancer later in life for the child if the mother consumed broccoli while pregnant. That is, mom's food choices while she's growing a baby are going to have an impact on that baby's health, on that baby's life. For the rest of that baby's life, if you are growing a baby, if you're developing a baby, if you are gravid, if you are pregnant, please understand that what you do while you're pregnant is going to have a huge impact on that baby, on your baby for the rest of that baby's life. If you're smoking, that's an absolute disaster. I'm not even going to go there. But even things like stress, elevated cortisol, if, you're, if your cortisol is jacked up while you're having a baby, if you're under emotional duress or physiologic duress while you're having a baby, that's a baby that is going to be more prone towards stress or stress sensitive. If you are, uh, conversely, if you are using nutritional supplements, you're going to build a stronger baby. If you're using vitamin C and you're using omega fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acids, you're going to have a smarter baby. You're going to have a baby with better hand-eye coordination. You're going to have a baby with better vision. If you're pregnant, that's an extra important reason to get on the Healthy Start Pack for longevity. Make sure you're using iodine as well. And make sure you're eating your Brussels sprouts and your cruciferous vegetables. You'll probably reduce your risks of uh, the re reduce the risks of breast cancer and other cancers for that baby later in life. From uh, Trigv Tols Tolfosbul, professor of, uh, in the UAB at the University of Alabama, Birmingham Department of Biology and senior author of the study, quote, our results suggest that the prenatal maternal broccoli sprout diet may impact early embryonic development by regulating gene expression through, get this, epigenetic profiles resulting in differential susceptibility to breast cancer later in life. What this means is that what the mom does affects the genes of the baby. This is what Dr. Wallach means when he says there's no genetic diseases. He means that all the so-called genetic diseases are really epigenetics and really involve epigenetics and they involve how the mother is feeding the baby while the baby is in the womb. That's what no genetic diseases means. Yes, the genes affect everything, obviously, but the genes are controlled and genes are affected by what the mom is doing or what the mom is not doing. This is so important for pregnant women. All right, 844 is our number. Got lines open for you. We are coming back with more good health, and health information and your phone calls as well on the Bright Side right after this. Side. I'm Farm Spen. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up and also brightsideben.com. Got search engines on both pages. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well, or you can call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For more information, also want to remind you to uh, come by, if you're in the Michigan area, to stop by the Cancer Prevention Convention. That's this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, August 19th, I'll be doing a talk there along with uh, Ty Bollinger and Del Bigtree and Daryl Wolf. Daryl Wolf's is especially interesting. He's a, a uh, doctor of natural medicine and uh, known as the doc of detox. He's got some inter interesting things to say. Del Bigtree is a big vaccine guy. Dr. Rashid Buttar is an amazing speaker. There are lots of great speakers and really a lot of good information. If you are a loved one is dealing with cancer, you're interested in the topic, and you're in the Michigan area, the Cancer Prevention Convention this Sunday, August 19th, 9 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the Dearborn Inn, the Marriott Hotel, 20301 Oakwood Boulevard, Dearborn, Michigan, 48124. Go to TicketsTaylor.com. I think tickets are about 30 bucks or so. Well worth it if you're interested in learning more about cancer or, God forbid, if you're dealing with it or have a loved one dealing with it, the Cancer Prevention Convention. Stephanie McKeith puts that on every year, and this is the first year I'm going to be speaking at it. And if you're out there, and uh, make sure you stop by and say hello. Hope to see you. All right, 844-236-6010. Let's go to the phones and say good morning to my friend and a friend of the show, Truth Raider. What's up, Truth Raider? Well, good morning, sir. Uh, two topics really quick. Yes, sir. Uh, the anomalies 
of life. You, you, you were discussing about beer, et cetera. Uh, and Are you a beer drinker, Chief Rider? Right? Oh, yeah. I, I get yeah. my silica every day. <laughs> it's made me smarter. It's made me more enthused. It's relaxing. But anyway, that that's uh, what I'm talking about is there's a gentleman down in Texas, down in Austin, Texas, named Richard Overton. He's 112 years young. Wow. How do you know this? <laughs> Is he, oh, is he famous? I, 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 I researched it. He's the oldest living veteran. He's the oldest living veteran uh, from World War II in the U.S. And, you know, I heard uh, of him. I didn't know he was in Austin, though. I, I've heard of this guy. He's 112. Does he drink beer every day or something? He drinks, uh, he drinks whiskey every day. Drinks a cup <laughs> of coffee and has, he has smokes 12 cigars. Now, how do you explain is, is this? The, is he an African American guy? Yes. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I actually watched a YouTube yeah, video of him. He loves ice cream, too. And loves ice cream, and yeah, he has a few yeah. other little rituals that he does. He, now, he how do you explain ice. this? How do you explain? And he drives, too, yeah. by the way. They showed him driving yeah, on this YouTube video. That's correct. He, yeah. That's correct. Right? Yeah, yeah so how does... So let me let me ask you. How do you think? You know, we hear all here that you're not supposed to smoke and you're not supposed to drink a lot of whiskey. You're definitely not supposed to eat ice cream every day. This guy eats ice cream every every evening, according yeah. to the video. I encourage everybody to check this video out. It's a YouTube video, and you can actually see this guy, and he looks pretty darn good, right? He doesn't look too bad. <laughs> he certainly doesn't look 112. He can walk. He can talk yeah. very well. He's very yeah. lucid. Yeah, he's not he's not decrepit. You, you would think he'd be all decrepit. He's not. And I've no, seen eighty-year-olds who don't look as good. That's right. <laughs> so how do you it's amazing? How do you explain this? I'm going to tell you how I would explain, but I want to hear how you explain this. I would say that there is some there's some anomaly in the telomeres and in his reproductive cell reproduction. I would say. I, I, don't, think I don't think it's anomalous. I don't think it's anomalous because you notice something about when if you listen to him speak, he has a really good attitude. He has a really yeah. positive attitude. I mean, if he was depressed yeah. or he was sad or he was miserable or he was angry, he, couldn't, he, he wouldn't be alive. He doesn't have any of that. Yeah. When you listen to him talk, there's none of that. He's thankful. He's grateful. He's happy. And so I've always said this. You know, we focus a lot, and I'm guilty of this myself, actually. We focus a lot on the physical aspect of health, but health is multidimensional. Right? Now, did not, haven't I always told you this, Truth Raider? Health oh, is yeah. multi, the mental aspect, the emotional aspect, and most importantly, the spiritual aspects are so important. And I know I, I let too many shows go by. I, I address this once in a while, and I let too many shows go by between addressing this. The, I call it SMEP, Spiritual, Mental, Emotional, Physical. And since you brought it up, I'm going to take that as an opportunity to say this. Health is multidimensional. And if you are taking your supplements, and you're eating correctly, and you're just not feeling well, and you're not healthy, Rest assured, there's a, there's a mental and emotional and a spiritual aspect that is involved. And I don't even believe that physical deterioration shows up until the mental and the emotional and the, uh, and the uh, uh, spiritual aspects of health have reached critical, some kind of critical threshold. And we just can't handle the angst. And we can't handle the anger. And we can't handle the no. distress. And we can't handle the spiritual disconnection. They are all important. And, and to me, I call it the invisible aspects of the visible, uh, the invisible uh, uh, dimensions of the visible aspects of health. And these invisible aspects, the spiritual, mental, emotional, and psychological aspects, have to be addressed. And, and really, if I was... If we're really serious about doing a health program, we would be talking more about the psychological, spiritual, emotional, and mental aspects of good health. They're very, very important, and they're very underappreciated. And you know what else, Truth Raider? You don't need yeah. to spend any money to address these things. You can address them all from the comfort of your own home, sitting on the couch. This is why meditation is so helpful. One of the reasons why yeah, meditation is so helpful. Go ahead. He's doing something. We have to find a study of what he has done. You know, as you said, the, the, the SMEPs that you're talking about, that, that's the main factor, but we have to figure out what, you know, how do you get to that state? How is someone... Or, he's a natural. You know, I think he's a natural. I don't think he'd even be able to tell you because he seemed like yeah. a natural, right? But isn't that amazing? Right. He's 112 years old. And folks, listen, if one guy can live to be 112, anybody can live to be 112. If anybody, if one guy, and he doesn't have any diseases either. And I don't think he's, he didn't say anything about taking any prescription drugs, did he? Did you watch the video? I don't yeah, think he's on any, he didn't mention any prescription that. drugs, right? With, How do you like whiskey that? Cigars. Whiskey and cigars, that's his medicine. <laughs> did he say, <laughs> did he really say 12 cigars a day? Yeah, he says he, he doesn't inhale though. What you do is you don't inhale it. I think he I remember him saying like, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't inhale the cigars. That's great. That's awesome. All right, what else you got for us, Carl? Topic, topic number two. I've got the crosis of, of the of the dental, you know, up in the upper gum here. I have a tooth, you know, my nice little dentist. I remember today. Remember me telling you about my nice little dentist I went to, nice little Lebanese girl. She uh, uh, that I, I went to uh, get my dental work done. The uh, don't call her a girl. The, yeah, a young lady. <laughs> well, she was young, yeah, maybe like 21 years old. She was a young new dentist, and she did something that she wasn't supposed to do. She she put a a dental like a I'm not sure it was like a porcelain. She built a tooth on top of a, a broken off tooth that was that was decaying inside that inside my gum, and it's fine. It's holding on there. It's still doing well, and it helps me a lot. That way, I don't get food stuck in my gum. But what happened was now it's starting to rot. Not the tooth itself; it's fine. Everything's the fine. Gum? I'm not, you know, I'm not having problems. But, but uh, what what is an alternative thing I could do to get rid of the decay that that that's in there? Because I could taste the decay. Well, what is what holds the tooth in place? What part? Of, what tissue is it that holds the tooth in place? Well, so I guess the the rotted root that's still in there. Connective tissue. Strong, you got to work yeah. on the connective tissue. The connective tissue is what feeds what feeds the root. Gum disease and and uh, uh, root root problems are all based in deterioration of the connective tissue. Yeah. So you got to fo- yeah. focus on the focus on the connective tissue. Uh, certainly, you want to avoid sugar and you want to floss and you know do all the mechanical things. But building connective tissue is very important. In fact, we don't ever talk about gum disease as a connective tissue problem, but the gums are connective tissue. In fact, right. scurvy, vitamin C deficiency, is marked by teeth falling out. Scurvy is a, a, a connective, the classic connective tissue deterioration disease. It could be something as simple as subclinical scurvy, more vitamin C. Make sure you're using zinc. And, and, and keep in mind, you got to definitely use the dietary and mechanical strategies, brushing, flossing, and avoiding the sugar foods. But building sure. connective tissue is very important as well. I'd be doing bone broth pro. Get my collagen recovery complex. Collagen recovery complex. You start using bone broth protein, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. Vitamin C is the quintessential nutrient for building connective tissue, and we'll be talking about that here in the coming days as we talk about vitamin C for the skin. This is why I use vitamin C in all my topical products. All, all truth treatments feature vitamin C because vitamin C is the key element for building connective tissue. Without vitamin C, you can't build connective tissue. And even more interestingly, the vitamin C that you do get will be directed to the heart and it will be taken away from the surface tissue, the skin, the skin as well as the gums. So if you're deficient in vitamin C, it's going to be rerouted from the surface of the body, that is the gums and the skin, to the interior of the body because the body perceives correctly that the interior is more important than the uh, surface. All right, that's all the time we have for today, Carl. Thanks so much for your input. Appreciate it. And uh, have a good day, buddy. And that's all the time we have on The Bright Side. An hour go, goes by far too quickly. Thanks for listening. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com. Pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and truthtreatments.com for the finest, most incredible, most powerful and potent truth or skin health products you will ever use. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. 